Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, today for our math, we're gonna be doing kind of what we did yesterday, but today we're gonna be showing time two and on two different types of clocks. So your I can statement, which I've wrote out, is I can tell time to the hour using two different types of clocks. Um, now if you've already you've already should have watched your visual learning bridge and done your solve and share, and we're gonna get we're gonna jump right ahead and get started with the guided practice. Um, but first, I let me talk about the visual learning bridge at the top of your page really quickly in the yellow boxes. Um, the little boy in the first box says, I eat breakfast at seven o'clock. And his clock shows the hour hand pointing to the seven and the minute hand is pointing to the 12, which we know means zero, zero, or o'clock. So this clock shows seven o'clock. Now he also says, well, this clock shows seven o'clock another way. That is a digital clock. So a digital clock just writes out the time for you. So if this is my digital clock, okay, if this is my clock, to show seven o'clock, I would write seven dot dot, so two, it's gonna be two dots on top of each other, zero, zero, because zero, zero shows o'clock. So this also says seven o'clock. So this is the same thing, it shows the same thing as this. Both of these, Tell me that it is seven o'clock. Okay. And that's like I was saying yesterday. Um, you guys will, a lot of you will see digital clocks more often than analog anymore. Um, and that's, that's okay. But you need to know how to read an analog clock because we have them at school and you're going to see them. And it's just easier if you know how to read one. And um, let's get started with our guided practice. Number one at the bottom. The directions say, draw the hands on the clock face and then write the time on the other clock. Okay, so that light blue clock, it's already written out for you. And it has the hour hand, the small hand points to the three and the minute hand points to the 12. So guys, I want you to tell me what time that is. Ready, go. Okay, you're exactly right, it is three o'clock. So when we go to our digital clock, and they've already done that one with for you, so we just need to look at it. To show three o'clock on that digital, they're just gonna write a three in the front. So three dot dot, and then zero zero. And then underneath both clocks, it has it written this way as well. So I just, uh, I made a little underline here so I could just fill in the number. So this clock shows me three o'clock. The hour hand points to the three, the minute hand points to the 12. My digital clock shows me three o'clock by three dot dot zero zero. And then down here, I also know it's three and then the word o'clock. Okay, moving on for number two. Now this one, you're going to have to fill in your arrows on your clock. And then you're gonna have to fill in your digital, and yeah, that's it. Okay, so number two, and now we know what time it is from underneath both of our clocks. It tells us that we need to show five o'clock. So that means my hour hand on my analog clock, the circle clock, needs to point to the number five. So my short hand goes to the five. And any time we say o'clock, our minute hand is gonna go, our long hand is gonna go up to the 12 because that means o'clock or zero, zero. So your analog clock should look like this. Your hour hand is pointing to the five and your minute hand, the long hand points to the 12. And over here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna fill in five in the front and then zero, zero. So five o'clock, five o'clock, five o'clock and five o'clock. Okay, moving on with number three. Number three might confuse a few of you and that's okay. That's, I'm glad that this is on guided practice so we can talk about it. 
So number three says that it is 12 o'clock. So you have to show 12 o'clock. Well, okay. So my hour hand is going to point to the 12. So I'm gonna draw my hour hand, the short hand. But then to show a clock or zero, zero, my minute hand also has to go to what number? The 12. So all I'm gonna do is right from the center, if I can do this, well, I'm gonna try it, guys. If I can, okay, right from that center, all you're gonna do is drill straight up again, and you're gonna go past it. Hmm, that was a really crooked line. <laughs> Fix that. So you draw straight past your hour hand, and you go up, and you make your minute hand. So they should be right on top of each other. And let me show you that on our, my duty clock so you can see it a little bit easier, okay? So if I need 12 o'clock, I'm gonna take my duty hand, and I'm gonna go up to the 12, and then I'm also gonna take this minute hand, I'm gonna bring it around. And I'm gonna go both are on the 12. And you can kind of see, you can't really tell that the hour hand is there, can you? It's, see, it's underneath it. But with both of those hands pointing to the 12, I know that it is 12 o'clock. And then on my digital clock, I'm just gonna write 12 in the front, zero, zero behind it. So 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And our last one is 11 o'clock. So to show 11 o'clock on my analog clock, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw my small hour hand to the 11, it's pointing to 11, and my large minute hand is going to point to the number 12. So that right there is 11 o'clock. Next over here on my digital clock, I'm gonna write the 11 in the front, and to show a clock, I'm gonna write zero, zero behind the two dots. And now I've got 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and then 11 o'clock. All right, you guys are going to do all of the problems. So numbers five through 15. Once you have all of those completed, make sure you send it to me on Remind, Facebook Messenger, um, or email, either one is fine. If you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, and I hope you guys have a really good weekend. Um, later today, check back on the Weebly, uh, on the Fun Friday tab. Me and Callie Jane are gonna do a little activity if you guys wanna join in and do it with us. I'm just kinda making something for a little Fun Friday project, and we're gonna try to do the, one of those each week, and I'm gonna try to have the materials that you'll need the week before so you can get them. Um, all right, I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye, guys. Have a good weekend.